When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you got it right. Body with a slump like, don't be in the home but God, Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go old tonight. I was in hope she's dead to right. I just wanna live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top of the memory. I've ever made in my life. in peace Cause all that these niggas become you I'm just saying I can be Yeah The one that you call and you talk to Girl I'll share my world With you If you don't make sure Lift it, got time. 
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Curly Hair Timmer. My name is Curly Daisy, and we are back with another episode of Mara's Legacy. Now, as you just saw, Miss Candy and Callie spent all of Sunday together, just the two of them, getting ready for Candy's first day of school. They got, went and got, did some thrifting. They ate at Candy's favorite restaurant, which is Chili's, and they just had a, a good time together overall. And we're just getting, sitting here getting the household back together and doing a little bit of cleaning. But while they do that, I'll just explain to you that um, Candy was feeling a little bit left out, a little bit lonely. She was really worried that her friends were purposely excluding her from their play. And Callie was just trying to explain to her that, you know, sometimes in three-person friend groups, one person feels left out, a little left out. And that just happens. Of course, Callie wasn't there. She didn't see what happened exactly. And from our point of view, we got to see that little flashback. I'm thinking maybe August and Emily have a little crush on each other. And Candy doesn't quite understand what that is yet or understand the relationship that they're developing. So it's not that they're leaving her out. More so, they're just becoming... They're just developing a different type of relationship. It's still all kid stuff, of course. Kids have crushes. And um, that's where we're at. That's 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 the storyline. <laughs> As you can see here, I have some little art pieces on the wall that Callie made. Our little baby cat love is doing well. I'm going to have to get rid of the, the mod that lets me control the pets, though. It is um, causing less exceptions. And as you see right here, I'm not able to switch off of the cat. And my game already runs slow enough, so any mod that's visibly broken, I have to get rid of it when I can see it. And Miss Candy is back awake already. It seems she's had a nightmare. Very unfortunate because she does have her first day of school tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can try to get her to go to sleep in her parents' bed. Because I do need her to get some rest before the first day of school. Come on, or we're going to first we're going to try to get Naveen to spray and see if that works. Oh, not her leaving as soon as she he spray because if she don't see him spray, she's not going to believe it's gone. Okay, so at the much trial and error of me not being able to get her to go to sleep, I just let her take a nap in her parent, her mom's bed with her mom. Naveen is going to go to sleep in Callie's bed for tonight. And that's a small sacrifice to make as the father to a beautiful, lovely girl who's just got a little bit scared. That's all. And Klaus is asleep and... I guess Candy's ready to get up. She's ready to start her day. She's super excited for the first day of school. She just had a bad dream, which could contribute to the nerves of the first day of school. I should have probably tried to make her go back to sleep because it is like super, super early. I didn't realize how early it was that she was getting up, but I guess I was super excited for her first day of school as well. Now I'm just gonna get her to go ahead and brush her teeth and probably go ahead and take a shower in her parents' bathroom too. I need to go ahead and deck, um, give the kids a bathroom so they can start using their own. I think I'll do that in this part, this episode. I like doing decorating the house one room at a time. It's pretty fun that way. Um, so that we'll do the kids' bathroom this episode. I also would love to put up some Christmas decorations, but I think I'll wait till after their little vacations so on thursday the mars will be taking a little vacation they'll be gone for thursday friday saturday and sunday a little four-day vacation let's say kelly's having they're having a short week this week and they only have to go to school till wednesday and i'm super excited about that and so the next part will start already 
leaving for vacation so that way you know i'll skip the next couple of days so you guys don't have to so the video doesn't have to be super long but um i'm super excited about that but and we'll decorate um for christmas after that because you know candy is for sure like she loves fall she loved decorating for fall but she is definitely going to be going all out for christmas she has two little babies well three if you count the cat <laughs> which I do, and her husband in her dream home, of course she wants to decorate this year, like, she's really just in a decorating mood with all the blessings and fortune that she's had this year. Okay, so for the first day of school fit, this is what she automatically chose to wear, but I think we can go a little bit harder than that. I think for the first day of school, we gotta pull out all the stops, so pink it is. Candy is a colorful girl. She loves all colors. And I think this little look is so cute on her. It's so, like, it's just adorable. It's it's for the winter with the little hat. It is just everything. And um, she's going to be super cute. And I definitely want them to take pictures of her before her first day of school. I wish she would not mess up my floors right now. At, behave yourself girl now you don't want to have get told off before your first day of school okay she reached creativity level nine that's amazing she is really living up to the whole idea of being that creative child and i was thinking about disciplining her recent behavior but i ended up i think i ended up not doing it at all and then I just went ahead and started making breakfast because I don't want time to go by so fast that we don't have time to send her to school with a, with a hot, the first day of school with a hot breakfast. And, oh, I guess I do talk to her. What she needs to be talked to. Anyway, we need to send her to school with a hot breakfast and we need to take pictures. Of the first day of school because that's just super cute to have. And then let's make some pancakes this morning. And stop eating. You're sitting here eating these beans. Everybody else is hungry. Go ahead and make some little breakfast. Okay, so it took forever, but we finally got Kent. Callie to make the breakfast she can go use the bathroom and we'll have Miss Candy come over here and help herself to a serving of the pancakes so she's already helping herself yeah she was hungry and she's feeling a little bit tired and I contribute that to the nightmares and waking up super early which she may have done partially because she was excited for school partially because of the nightmares we're gonna let Naveen go back to sleep in his own bed after he showers because he has to go to work today too and he didn't sleep that peacefully in Candy's bed. It is a children's bed after all. And it looks like Miss Candy was trying to get a little bit more some more of a nap in before school. They're all just like sleep deprived at this point except for Callie. She's the only one. And um, Niklaus, they're the only two that actually got some rest last night. And look at Shadow, sitting here, watching, being nosy. Candy is so cute. She's so, in my opinion, Gen Z coded to me. Like, I'm not Gen Z, so I'm not even sure if that's true. But that is the inspiration I went with when I was trying to pick her outfit. Gen Z, e-girl, like... Almost you can't even categorize it because one day she'll be dressing like this and then the next day she'll be wearing like that yellow pantsuit. The next day she'll be wearing all black. Like, and then, and then she'll just wear a big t-shirt. Like, you never know what she's going to pull out. Like, it was everything she's wearing. We're going to say she bought at the th thrift store. So, and she just created these little looks. And that was something I probably would love to continue into well, when she becomes a teenager. 
going to the thrift short store and creating looks maybe it can be a way that candy could save up some money for herself that would be super fun we could use little piggy banks to store the money that she um earns i think that'll be really fun and i definitely want to sit, get a picture of candy so i'm gonna set that up real quick before she goes to school y'all look how cute our girl is for her first day of school she is looking so cute with her little leggings and her leg warmers her hoodie her hat she's just so cute and then the parents and shadow have all come outside to say goodbye to her i know kelly's cold with no clothes on this is i guess i guess san sequoia is supposed to be san francisco so maybe it's not really even that cold here so that means they might not get snow we'll see i don't know if it snows in san sequoia or not i guess we'll find out so candy is off for her first day of school yeah oh my goodness Callie, your babies are growing up. I can't believe it. It's definitely time to have some more babies, and we are definitely going to do that. We are two parts away from new baby, new babies. Well, I'm not going to say two. We are, after the vacation, we're going to decorate for Christmas, and we're going to get some babies. That is my plan. Because it's time. I'm ready. I'm ready. The house is becoming more and more furnished and looking good and speaking of furnished let's go ahead and decorate this bathroom real quick before we do that i want candy to make friends at school especially considering she was feeling a little lonely playing with her two best friends of course they're gonna talk about it at school and make up and apologize but i still want her to make friends for this first day of school so just see who she could meet we're also gonna go ahead and feed Smokey take care of him make sure we're good pet owners and yeah let's go ahead and get this bathroom together now there is no reason this bathroom should have took me as long as it did i just i couldn't decide on what i was going for at first with these yellow cabinets out, counters i was thinking okay let's style this to a bathroom that candy would like but to make it bright colorful that's very fun for all the kids etc cetera, etc cetera. but then i was like okay there's gonna be five kids they're all sharing this one bathroom because there's only one bathroom on this side of the house do i want to tailor and candy's gonna move out eventually do i want to tailor this bathroom to a child that's gonna grow up and move out do i want to try to tailor this bathroom to one child when there are five other ones yes candy likes colorful bright whatever but that's not necessarily nicola style or the other three children that's going to come so i ended up scrapping that and ended up going with the bathroom that was more neutral a bathroom that candy not candy callie likes that type of style because that makes more sense it is her house she's decorating it in my mind and it would just make more sense for the bathroom, at least the permanent fixtures and stuff, the tub, the the, um, the counters and stuff like that to be more Cali coated. And as the kids grow up and their needs change, they can add hair products here and there and put up posters, things like that, removable stuff, change the, the rugs on the floor, things like that. But for now, it is this bathroom is very Cali coated. All right, I'm going to stop talking now and let you guys just watch this part and you'll see what I mean by Cali Coded. Let me see how you step, step, step. Show the people how you step, step, step. Let me see how 
how you walk, let me see how you slide, let me see how you walk, like you ain't got no ride, let me see how you walk, now lean with it, walk, car lean with it, walk, on the scene with it, walk, it's G finish, slide with my nigga, we gon' slide, I'm gonna slide, you gon' slide, and we slide with that iron, nigga slide, where you gun, nigga, everybody rhyme, when we slide, where you front, nigga, we don't need mine, it's the vibe, nigga, pump me, they kind of ride, it's the vibe, nigga, cool, let me see when you walk, 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 let me see when you step, 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 show the people how you step, step, step. Walking and sliding, and stepping and spinning, and standing on bitches and standing on bitches. Walk, 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 walk. Walking on beats, got the yo on my feet. Put your bitch in my freak, so the yo on my meat. Spin you with me since you rapping your feet. Stepping with me, so you stepping for free. Walk, 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 walk. Spin, 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 spin. Stepping and sliding, run down on up. I got niggas high. Okay, so this is the bathroom. This is what we're working with. We got a plunger, some messy towels, because messy kids. Plunger, because kids are always going to clog up a toilet. Got the little potty for Nick Klaus and any future toddlers that we may have. The tub. I wanted a shower tub combo for, you know, any babies or toddlers that need baths and showers for the older kids. And I wanted, I was thinking about doing two sinks, but I ended up going with one because I just like the way these counters look like this. And yeah, that's the bathroom. Nothing too crazy about it. It is a bathroom. I'm not going to go too deep on it any further than I already have. So we just got royalties, which is great because we just spent all that money on go to work. Um, we just spent all that money on the bathroom. So we needed a little reimbursement. And Naveen said he wants to be the first one to use the bathroom. And speaking of using the bathroom, here is the little cutie shadow over here using the bathroom. Let's go ahead and show him some love. I want to be a good pet parent to my sim pets. So we got to make sure. And cats are so easy to neglect in the sims because they just, they're not just, they're not quite as vocal unless you get a talkative cat. No, we can't hang out. We're about to go to work. They're not quite as talkative and they can take care of themselves for the most part. They don't need to be walked as long as there's food in their bowl. And if you have an automatic litter bowl, you really don't think about the cats that much. Naveen is putting on lotion. He's just enjoying this new bathroom. I think he's ready for his bathroom makeover. But one room at a time, the parents' rooms are definitely going to be last, unfortunately. Okay. And the Klaus, of course, is over here wrecking, as per usual. Nothing surprising there. And let's see what he needs. He's a little hungry. He just used his diaper, so we're definitely going to have to give him a little bit of a diaper change. And, you know, now that Nikos is the only baby in the house while Candy's at school, he can get a lot more attention to detail. Kelly can be more personable with him throughout the day, which is really nice. Don't want any of our babies feeling neglected ever, including this little fur baby here. What was that noise? It sounded a little angry there for a second. Both Callie and I are having some serious baby fever, like... It's getting bad. Look how cute Nikolaus is being a little angel, even though we know he's not a little angel. <laughs> um, we're going to have her just spend some time with him today. Make sure we get him some food. And she's queuing up some interactions all on her own. So it seems like she's ready to spend some time with him today, too. Oh, look at them being absolutely adorable. He's almost got movement level 5, which is cool. That'll be the first one that he hits, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like to let my sims figure out their own personalities. And I don't know, he might be into sports or just high fitness, etc. Not to say that I want to make that his whole personality, but that just might be something that he likes doing. He might like playing rough. And, you know, he might be a playtime captain. Like, so, when he becomes a kid. So, I just, that's just something to consider if he does hit the move with skill first. 
Uh, this is from Naveen's job. Uh, let's reverse engineer it. I hardly even really read this. And I got a large performance loss. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Naveen. I should have really read that. But, uh, my bad, Naveen. Matter of fact, let me see where he even is to get a promotion. He still needs to get to level eight of the robotic skill, and he's kind of far off from that anyway, so it should be fine. Hopefully, in the class, he eats his food. He has a good appetite, so. Oh, look at that. You heard that big bite? And Kelly made a friend while she was at school. And let's see who this friend is. Jaden Pierce Price. Okay. Callie's making new friends. Very good. I mean, she's still going to be best friends. Ace Boom Cools were her main little three group. But I'm happy for her to make new friends. Always happy for my children to make more friends. And... Niklaus has eaten his sandwich really fast. Yeah, my boy said he was hungry. Don't play with him. Candy is just letting Niklaus out of the high chair. And we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of potty training. Because his lowest skill is is for sure the potty skill. He still has not really reached, reached level 2 of the potty skill. And we get, definitely got to work on that. My boy, like, I'm not ready for him to grow up, but he, oh, move, move it level five. He hit it. I knew he was going to hit it soon. So, yes, I would like to say since Callie hit her creative skill first, her imagination skill first, and so we made her more of a creative sim, and he hit his movement skill first, so let's make him more of, like, whatever his interests are going to be, they're going to have something to do with movement. I would, like, I think... Um, let's see what these bills talking about. Thousand dollars. We actually got a pretty big discount. Uh, from power conservation, fugal living. What is fugal living like? Us being broke because we don't have a lot of money in our account. <laughs> they gave us a discount on rent. That's that's nice of them. I wish they would do that in real life. And Nick Klaus has reached party level two. Very good. Super proud of him. And I wonder if he has some time to do a little workout video. I would love to go jog around the neighborhood, but it's just Callie and Nick Klaus and I don't want her to leave him by himself. So, oh, and look at us over here being an absolute cutie patootie like don't wake him up he's looking so cute with his belly up this is the cutest little like it's a side table you could put things on top of there but it's also a cat bed and that, that's so cute i'm glad to see that it's functioning well love to see that actually and callie is hungry she's not really taking care and candy is home from school already her grades are merely satisfactory which is fun it's and she brought home a school project. My girl is exhausted. Oh my goodness. She's exhausted and she gotta use the potty. And let's have her mom come over here and greet her. Definitely wanna greet her and see how she's doing after how her first day was. You know, they had that talk about the friends. They wanna make sure that, you know, everything went okay between them and they're still friends. Because Callie was being a bit dramatic when it came to, like, I'm not gonna say dramatic because her feelings are very valid. You know, they were icing her out. But you, you have to, in real life, you have to tell people how you feel because you can't just assume that they know they're hurting you. You can't assume that they know that you're happy. You have to, or sad, you, you have to tell them how you feel when you feel it. Don't be passive aggressive. So. That's what Candy is just going to go talk to Callie about. And I wonder why they keep using this door. Is this set? It's my front door. Let me check and find out. It sure is. Let me go ahead and change that right now. I feel quite certain that Niklaus missed his sister while she was gone. Because not him sitting here messing up her room. He waited good till she got home to come in here and start trashing it. He been home all day. Haven't messed with her room. But as soon as she get home, now he want to trash her room. I definitely think that's on purpose. 
<laughs> so I, I was gonna have um, Callie be mean to Nicholas for doing that, but she done passed out. So let's go ahead and have her take a nap on her couch. I really want to see her use this couch. It looks really small, so I just want to see how the scale is. And Miss Candy is getting her some rest. To she really needs it. And when she wakes up, we'll let her do some homework. But for now, she really has had a long day. And she didn't really get any sleep. She had to have exhausting conversations with her friends. And she had to pay attention in class. Not to mention she made new friends. So she just had a very tiresome day. And she's got to get used to her new schedule for sure. Let's go ahead and have Callie cook something in the crock pot. And let's go ahead and actually make sure we actually get the food out of the crock pot this time and actually serve it. Let's try not to have a repeat of last part. And what is this on this floor? Drop it now. And my computer, what is going on with my game? Let me go ahead and save. And now I see why I couldn't drop it in there because Niklaus was trying to come over here and wreck the trash can. Of course he was. Always trying to wreck something. Candy's preparing the food for the crock pot. And Niklaus is coming in here playing with his blocks. You know, doing something productive for a change. <laughs> Looking super cute. He's super cute. That's why he gets away with so much. For sure. And... Miss Candy is still sleeping. $545. What is this? The ghetto. This man makes $242 an hour. Why didn't buy on $545? Is this because of his performance loss? Does performance loss affect your pay? Because of that's crazy if it does. That's crazy. They didn't even pay him for half a day's work. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check on that and get back with that. How why are you upset? Cause he's feeling constricted because Naveen is holding him. The Klaus truly is a menace. <laughs> Put this little boy down. He do not want to be held. Why don't you hold your wife instead and Niklaus? I mean, Naveen is very tired as well. But you can greet your wife. Ooh, sounds like the crop up is done. Let's do a little flirt. I got to keep the romance alive in y'all relationship. And it looks like Callie's coming here to greet her dad too. Everybody's coming in here. It's just... Everybody's coming in here really to see Niklaus, but everybody's in here. Let's have Callie go ahead and start her homework now that she's up. She's still tired, but she got to get this homework done because her grades aren't the best. I mean, she's not going to be like, I don't imagine Callie's going to be like straight A student, but if it happens, it happens. I at least want her to try to do her homework. All the children, I want all the children to at least try to do their homework. Oh, look how cute she is in her pink chair with her pink fit. Doing her homework like an absolute queen. And Callie has come in here eating beans. This is the second bowl of beans you had today, girl. You love these beans. Since you're in here, why don't you help your daughter with her homework? That is part of your aspiration. You have to help a kid with their homework three times. So, why don't you cheap fridge smell? She's tired. You might have to replace the fridge soon, man. If it's an issue, because this is a cheap fridge. Like, this is the one that I bought when they first moved in for pretty cheap. Yeah, and the clouds definitely miss his sister because why is he in here playing with her little toy when he has the exact same one? But it's a, um, I think it's a Bigfoot. But he'd rather like play play. with the one in his his mom's in his sister's room because he loves her. He is he loves his big sister. That's so sweet. I was curious about this because it was saying like it was like letting him sleep there. I just wanted to see if he would get in the bed, but he could not. 
So since he wanted to be around his sister so much, I'm gonna let him take a nap in his sister's room while she works on her homework with her mom. Just all being in there, being super cute. And we're gonna release the steam on this food so that everybody can eat. This lady is still tired, very tired. We're gonna have her wash her hands and we're gonna go ahead and let her eat some dinner. And then she can go back to sleep. And then let's go ahead and grab all the servings. Oh, let's call it to meal. Give her just a little bit of energy so she can make it through dinner. And everybody's gonna eat, and even Callie's gonna help herself to a plate, even, even though she's been eating beans. I want the clouds to wake up and have him some food as well. And it sounds like Naveen is waking up too. Very good. Everybody can have some dinner. Okay, Callie is doing some reading underneath her covers, and Niklaus is going to be in, not Niklaus, Naveen is in charge of putting everybody, getting everybody to sleep tonight, since Callie has been home with the kids all day. All Naveen has to do is, what is Brooke, well, Brooke is always doing some craziness, I swear. Okay, let's, let's put up these walls and pretend we didn't see that. I don't know what Kelly's reading, but she, what Candy's reading, but she's enjoying it. And now she's gonna take a look, go to sleep, change her pajamas, and get some sleep. Speaking of this, let's find those pictures that we took this morning. I think it's in Naveen's. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and create a photocopy. And let's look for the Polaroid photo. And let's find the picture. All right, so, and let's add it to her little photo wall. Super cute. And I want to move it right next to here. I want it to be in like basically chronological order of like her actual life. I still need to really get her to take some pictures with her friends. Which we probably will not be doing next part because next part we're going to be. Maybe I'll do it off camera. Add some photos of her and her friends up there. Why are you up? <laughs> Why are you up? Go to sleep now. For whatever reason, there's a glitch where it's not letting me set the color and intensity of lights. I'm not sure if it's a lot conflicting or if it's just a glitch or whatever. But, uh, yeah. And Naveen is even putting the cat to sleep. He's putting everybody to sleep. And now he's going to help himself off to bed. And we'll get back with you guys in the morning. It is once again a very early start for Kelly. She is t like she keeps having monsters and she's not getting any sleep. I am removing this scared of the dark buff. It probably will come back. But I'm getting rid of it for now because I just need her to get some sleep. Like she's just not getting any sleep. She has high confidence. So I'm not sure why she's having so many nightmares and being so afraid of all of everything. No, she won't go back to sleep. I'm just gonna have to have her go to sleep in our parents' bed once again. So I got Kelly to take a bit of a nap on the couch. Hopefully she's able to get a little bit of sleep. Hopefully like the nightmares and stuff stop soon because it's getting a little crazy. Like, this girl's not getting any sleep, and I hate that for her. I really do. My poor baby. She's so afraid. 
she's the most confident girl in the world and she's always afraid and the class is awake too looks like he's going about to go over there and bother candy he just wants to be in candy face at all times but like he really do but i'm gonna have him find something else to do because candy needs to sleep why don't you why don't you build a tower because leave your sister alone she needs to sleep she got school in the morning and Naveen, let's go ahead and have you wake up and repair this. And since you are waking up, Candy can sleep in your bed. Okay, so Callie ended up getting up before Naveen. So I have brought Candy over to the bed. She's actually able to go to sleep now, which is great. And um, hopefully she'll actually sleep this time through the night. I mean, not through the night. It's already five. Hopefully she'll get a little bit of energy before school starts in the morning. If even just an hour, that'll be great. Kat Callie's over here making um, some banana, honey banana toast for breakfast, which is gonna be, sounds really good. I, I really enjoy bananas and peanut butter on toast. So it's a good meal for sure. And the class is still building his stack. And then I was looking at his milestones earlier. Um, one that he has in progress is learning his shapes. So I definitely want her to do the flashcards with him, but um, have him learn his shape. His not his shapes, his numbers. So after she finishes that, that's what we're going to have her do. While Callie was trying to do the shapes with numbers with Nick Lyles, this popped up, says they got a new family dynamic permissive. Seeing how things have been between Callie and Nick Lyles, that definitely looks to be the case because house rules are more like guidelines, right? So the older Sim will often show the younger Sim, shower the younger Sim in affection and compliments and will generally be lenient with the younger Sim misbehaves. So yes, they can definitely have that relationship. I think that'd be super cute, especially since Nicklaus and um, Naveen have a strict relationship. It makes sense that Callie would be more permissive to kind of offset it and not let Nicklaus just be so hammered down on, especially since they're both a little bit more lenient with Callie, with Candy, but that might be just because Candy just, she just does the right thing. She has that older child syndrome where you're not, you, know, you want to just please the parents and do whatever the parents say and be a good child generally. Um, we have to go ahead and wake up Miss Candy because it is 6.47. Let's go ahead and have her take a shower, use the bathroom, brush her teeth so that she can get ready for school. Sorry to have to wake you up, girly, but it is what it is. So this is the outfit Miss Candy has chosen for her second day of school. It is a Sesame Street shirt with some little yellow boots. And she has her hair braided back into two little buns. And I just think it's a super cute look, laid back. She had, I think it's a good look for the second day because she was pretty much up all night. She's a little tired, but she still wants to look put together. She's still gonna put that ish on every time. So I think it's cute. I think it's very appropriate her and let's go ahead and have everybody eat some have her eat some breakfast let's have her pack a second lunch because she actually don't even have time to eat some breakfast it's seven it's eight o'clock right now so she's about to go to school right now and we can at least have her pack a second lunch and eat the say so let's just say that she's eating the breakfast on the way to school no toast on the way to school so don't leave your breakfast can candy let's go ahead and pause real quick and make sure we put this in her inventory so she can take it with her first I know she's not they don't really eat it while they're at school but I just like the, the storyline of it all that she didn't eat breakfast this morning so she had to take some with her and look at her looking super cute you can get a better look of her little outfit this morning bye miss candy have a great second day of school she looks excited you know, she was tired from last night, but she still, I think she's going to enjoy school. And the Klaus and 
Callie are just enjoying some breakfast on the couch together. Super cute and sweet. And Naveen is, I think he's just trying to get his engineering skill up a bit before, before he goes to work as well. And everybody seems to be settling down and winding down. I'm, I'm just about to wrap it up. I just want to do one last thing before we go. And that is, I still want Candy to get that workout in. She wasn't able to get it in earlier. And so, let's, I, you know, I don't want her to fall back off from the fitness thing. Because she worked so hard to get her body back to a point where she's confident. After having the first two kids. So, I don't want her to, like, fall off the exercise wagon too hard. You know. Callie's royalties have hit. And they got a little money and we're just gonna get some working out in and go ahead and end the part here thank you guys so much for watching please let me know what you guys think of the little friend group drama that candy has um let me know what you guys think of the bathroom and the house in general we're gonna continue to decorate and get this place together next part we are going on a family vacation so stay tuned for that it's gonna be very fun to record and show you guys yes yeah, so you guys have a great rest of your thursday peace love hair grease we'll be back next week with more mars legacy bye guys <laughs> Body, 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 body